Hello, I'm Mitsu Piano, and I'm playing Computer Bug. Last time we got Savant through the forest. This time we are taking him to the chemical plant. Why didn't they burn down an entire forest to try to stop someone from coming here? Is this a cyber base? Indeed it is. The chemical plant stands on the outskirts of a major industrial complex controlled by the cybers. There's a factory in the center of the complex producing legions of evil constructs. It will be Boki's job to shut it down. Let's get to it. Let's start on the precarious catwalk. I feel like dealing with these Mega Man guys should be easier for Savant. If I can, like, not do stupid things like that. Yeah, but it's easier to get around their shields when you can just, like, fly over them. Yeah, not bad. Onward to the oil refinery. Everything looks so hazy and polluted. Is this like one of those dark and gritty games that are popular nowadays? Are you trying to connect with today's youth? You and I both know that cyber bases aren't exactly the most pleasant places to be. Aw, I was just teasing. Don't take everything so seriously. Get out of here, frog. Just like with Boki's version, we gotta be careful about using explosive weapons in oil. Be ready to back off at a moment's notice, and be ready to come up for air often. Anyway, we got Explode and Plasma, X-Blaster, or Planet Breaker. Let's break some planets. Look at that, that's spectacular. <laughs> Though X-Blaster's pretty good too. Because X marks the spot. Oh, and then we have Force for Search and Destroy or Hyper Laser. Hyper Laser is really cool, but it takes a lot of setup. Look at that, just blazing through them. Aw, oh, no perfect though. Anyway, welcome back to Remote Location. So much like when we did this mission with Boki, it's about learning how to use Savant's remote weapon. Which we got a small demonstration of last time. Yeah, you can do a lot of cool things with this. Get some wave. Prismatic ring um, is not going to help here. But the big bubble, that probably will. Yep, don't want to get hit by the sound wave. No, down. In. There we go. Yeah, just let those big bubbles float up. Get some plasma for spider laser. This is another good one. Shiny. Um, I bet if I big bubble these guys, I can hit them through the wall. That's like the thing with wave. Not done? What else is there? Oh, there's one over here. 
Okay, I didn't even have to do anything. Polluted outskirts. Back over here, are we? Ow. The force window generates a little force field around itself. So sometimes you can use that to protect from attacks. Sometimes. Anyway, here's attack probe. It's like force but with more forces. And limited range. I heard squeaking. I think it's from... Yeah, it's from the little rats. And here's parallel circuit. Double force windows. Much more mobile and long range than attack probe. Alright, for quick we have double reticle. <coughs> it's like quick, but with two lock-ons. Then multi-lock. It's much fancier because we can lock on to a bunch of enemies at once. And just slice them all up. Oof, that was kind of rough. Usually I only take damage like that if I'm playing as Boki. Here's the Hazardous Harbinger. Hello again. It's possible to beat this guy by just staying in place. Um, but we do need to grab some remote. For Boki, she got remote and split. For Savant, it's just remote. Ow. I really need to stop getting hit in dumb ways. Trying to stay away from the walls and ceiling because of the long lasting shockwaves. Gotcha. Not bad. Into the secret lab. Gonna get some chemical weapons here. And that much. Really? Really? I crash into the freaking target? Can just check chemicals all day, which is good, because we're not getting any other weapons. Boom. You just taken one. Close enough. It's time for some volatile chemicals. Again, don't want to ignite the oil if we can help it. Which might be a little difficult. Can I get, like, an actual weapon, please? Yes, like, force. Force is good. Go up. Alright. Remote control or Phantom Edge. I really like Phantom Edge. It's like... Just look at those swords zoom past. Remote control is cool too, but it's one of the most... Uh, I don't want whip. I'm trying to show how this works. Yeah, it's basically just force, but you can control the arrows. Very difficult to use properly, but also pretty satisfying. 
Hey, hey, hit the damage target. Welcome to the synthesis chamber. Uh, let's get split. Let's see. Uh, last time I showed Trinado, this time I can get with Air Slicer. It's just simple and slicey. Anyway, let's put those summoning weapons to use. Something from two windows. Okay, with remote we now have Spin Cutter. Very simple orbiting shield type weapon. Let's get some bunnies in here. But it's the other split and remote combo that I really like. Where is it? Bounding box. This one's great. It's just such a quintessentially savant weapon. Ow. I can't out of my way. I can't see the remote window. Oh, because I ran out of the split. Okay. That was kind of rough. Invincible Legion. Uh, this is the one that introduces Shadow Metal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just float on through all this. Clear the spikes off the top, too. Why not? We don't need these around here. Exploding wave, we can get Bubble Boom or Rupture Blast. I think we want Bubble Boom for big crowds like this. Clearing all these spikes out of here. Should still have enough invincibility to take out everything. Yeah, let's rupture glass this one. Alright. Jelly processing and storage. Consubes are encased in extremely durable bouncy goo. The same amazing invention is also used for non-malicious things, like protecting sensitive equipment. Yeah, but the best thing to do is bounce on it! I can already levitate, so doing so would be pointless and childish. Doesn't stop me, you know! I support you in your endeavors, pink text box. But no, we don't actually need to bounce on any of the jellies here. So this is a really simple and easy... Uh, let's get... Power Defrag! That adds a little electric effect to our barrier. Boom. Wasn't that stage a little easy for you? Something tells me it wasn't made for someone who can float, huh? Um, no. I'm afraid it wasn't. Then why don't you play it the real way? Are you too shy to bounce around on those jelly constructs? That isn't bounce on the jelly! Oh, it appears my hand has slipped. I'm already being sent to the next mission now. Score one. Danger! Lots of danger in this place. Got chemicals, got explosion. Um, can mix them up with the explode window. We have power defrag again. Very helpful. Right, I want this guy because he drops shadow metal. Okay, we saw a heat wave, but not furnace blast. This is similar to the regular tornado shot, but oh, we ran out of shadow metal. It doesn't have the distance bonus. In fact, 
I think I want regular tornado here. Because that's going to hit farther. Yeah. Ow. Not out of the danger yet. Because we're taking on the Miasma monster. Is it Miasma or Miasma? I'm not sure. Anyway, here we are again. Battlefield looks a little different. And I guess we don't really have to worry about um, acid getting spilled everywhere. Hopefully. That. Ah. Ow. Ow. Ah. Alright. No, I can get uh, bounce from you, can't I? That'd be helpful. Let's shine a spirit beacon on this guy. No, oh, there we go. Yep. Nice try. Ow. Yeah, I'm getting hit in stupid ways because I'm trying to move the plasma window without paying any attention to where Salon actually is. Which is kind of a danger when you're using plasma. Ow! Okay, we got pink chemical. Uh, let's try launching it from the bounce window. Because, like, you're right next to the wall anyway. A little awkward, but hey, it worked. Hmm, a little anticlimactic, don't you think? In what way? Every world in the simulation ends with a large encounter like this. No, I mean, this is a cyber base, right? After you beat the big boss man, shouldn't the whole base start blowing up and you have to escape? Oh, yes, I do believe I catch your drift. Give me one moment. Much better. Something like this, correct? Yes, that's much better! <laughs> Just flipping out of there. That's World 3. Next time we'll be going back to the underground. You can do silly animations by pushing the drop button at the same time with up or down. It even changes to different outfits, so try it out. Does that work for Salon? I'll have to check.